you know, if you are hungry, I'm not going to shame you for being hungry. We are like, let's go out for lunch and what are you going to have? And, you know, and we talk about in great details about, you know, food is like, it's an obsession. But when it comes to our, our body desires, we don't talk about that. Oh, I just would like to be touched by a woman, you know, <laughs> and in, in this way or that way, or I would like to have someone to scratch my head or give me a foot massage or hand massage. So I, I do a full body, um, uh, body work and, you know, and I was trained in many different modalities. I traveled a lot in Asia. Uh, so I know that this is very much part of an Asian culture, but it is not part of the regular West, Western culture to go for a massage on a weekly or a monthly basis, also because it's so cost prohibitive versus Asia. It's very accessible. People go there and socialize and they get their foot massaged for hours. Welcome to Old God Talks to Me, a podcast dedicated to helping guys create kick-ass lives for themselves and those that they love. Ladies, if you want to know what your guy is thinking, this podcast is for women too. Each week, a special guest helps you create that life you've imagined. We talk anti-aging medicine, personal growth, relationships and hot sex. Yeah, you hear me, getting laid more frequently, other guy vices, and topics that many don't want to talk about but need to. Just because you're getting older doesn't mean you have to be old don't want to miss anything be sure to subscribe share rate and review this podcast and be sure to go to www.thestandard.academy forward slash magazine and grab a free copy of our new digital magazine the standard academy where we talk about erogenous zones growing hair back and other things that will help you create that kick-ass life now get ready to listen up and share with friends you talk about expanding your horizons. What mm-hmm. does that what is what does that mean? It means that whatever you think one thing is is way more than that. So for instance, um, you know, we have ideas what it is like to raise children. We don't know until we're actually doing it. But you know, we make up our mind about a lot of things. And and that and and that you know, if you just br- bring it down to the sexual sphere, so to speak, then um, people have all kinds of ideas what happens at the swing club. Uh, they have all kinds of ideas what a sex worker is. They have all kinds of ideas about cheating. Uh, they have all kinds of, we have ideas and we have judgments around these things. And if you open your mind and you just look at it, not from, from a judgmental point of view, but curiosity, say, hmm, I want to see what that world is like. As soon as I stepped into those worlds and looked around, I said, this was nothing what I thought it was. It's actually a lot more innocent, a lot more playful. It's not as serious. Um, and there are all kinds of people living alternative lifestyles that on the surface, you would never be able to tell. And, and these people are, are living a life much more full of happiness and laughter and a lot less judgment. Uh, if you narrow your view of this is how, you know, this, this is the path that I see most of my peers are living um, and where it's going and I'm going to retire next to a golf course and, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go to the happy hour. It's, it's, a, it's a path and a lot of people are living that. And, and I'm, okay, but I wanted more out of life. And every time I say yes to more, more shows up. It's just incredible the, the, the type of uh, experiences that we can have now at our age because it wasn't accessible before. Uh, but now it is. And so that's yeah. what it means. Yeah. I think people don't know. Um, you really never know until you get into something. That's right. That's going to be there. You, 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 you're, you're correct. You have some ideas about what it's going to be like. Um, but you really don't know uh, what it's going to be like uh, until you start it. Because sometimes you're looking to get to, to from point A to point C. But you can't get to point, you don't even see point C until you get to point B. 
and, and then, right. then C shows up. And, and so it's so, so a lot of times you start and you never know where a path will lead you uh, in, in many, in, in many different ways. Um, let's talk and about there's some just the, one, one thing I wanted to say about that. It just occurred to me that I, I, it's kind of a thing of follow your heart. It sounds very trite, but follow that stirring inside that quiet voice and it mm -hmm. will lead you i said oh what's behind what's happening here and go there and then you know that that that's the area because there's so many areas that you can get lost you know uh, in this and then expand it because that's where your soul is pulling you and yeah. that and uh, do the expansion there yeah uh, in many ways that's god talking to you <laughs> you know it, it, it is i think when you listen to that voice uh, uh whatever you want to call it uh intuition or whatever uh but i think that in, in many ways you're being guided um yes you have uh three programs i'm going to talk some of your uh body work coaching love coaching and couple coaching can you tell us a little bit about all three of those and and and, mm -hmm. uh, and and how they and how they work yeah um well the body the body work is 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 individual although sometimes it's couples uh what I have discovered, of course, this is a very private and very uh, an area where people have a lot of shame, uh, a lot of shame about their bodies themselves. Uh, so body shame and, and then sexual shame on top of it. You talked about, uh, and, you know, erectile dysfunctions or for women, vaginal issues, etc. So they, you know, there there are now places where people can go but increasingly uh it seems like that you know people don't want to also seek out doctors sometimes because that's just a medical uh field uh but they wanna they just wanna be accepted they want to be touched um and especially uh, during the pandemics and now after i mean people have are, are really touch deprived so my body work is related to that and i have to say that these days i'm more busy with that than anything else before the pandemic i was doing more workshops and i was more out there um and and then i just come came kind of to a screeching halt and it's unfortunate because now it feels like that we've taken two steps back you know a lot of people have are have gotten divorced because you know they spend so much time together and and they realize they don't actually even like each other and and it's just really sad that uh, that that there is help out there there are people like me out there but it, we are again this is one of those other areas where the people have so many stigmas and so many misunderstandings of what this as actually is like uh that that you know th that i cannot be in a you know out there in a public forum uh more you know like when i discovered this i wanted to you know scream from the mountain top it's like this is everyone people are like oh my god connect to your body so what i find in a body work people are disconnected from their body i ask them what you know how would you like to be touched you want it deeper lighter slower faster oh whatever it's 99 percent of the time that's the answer i get whatever because we're so touch deprived that, that even that is uh kind of welcome and then after that, it's like, okay, ask what, how you want to be touched. And then the breathing, connected to the breathing. People come in here and they are frazzled and in their heads. So it's like I teach people how to get out of their head into their body. And then from there, speak about their desires. Oh, actually, you know, I actually want a lighter touch or I want a deeper touch uh, or a little bit faster, a little bit slower tuning into another person's nervous system first of all get them into this out of the sympathetic you know the flight and fright and running and the shallow breathing and then into mm -hmm. the parasympathetic with just a few breaths to, so they can let go of all their judgments and all their ideas what's good what's happening and who what does it mean what does it say about me for seeking out a service like this this is very big you know and then you know they're hiding it and they don't want to talk about it and I feel so, I feel so um, sad about that, how we are at the society, because, you know, if you are hungry, 
I'm not going to shame you for being hungry. We are like, let's go out for lunch and what you're going to have. And, you know, and we talk about in great details about, you know, food is like, it's an obsession. But when it comes to our, our body desires, we don't talk about that. Oh, I just would like to be touched by a woman, you know, <laughs> and in, in this way or that way, or I would like to have someone to scratch my head or give me a foot massage or hand massage. So I, I do a full body, um, uh, body work and, you know, and I was trained in many different modalities. I traveled a lot in Asia. Uh, so I know that this is very much part of an Asian culture, but it is not part of the regular West, Western culture to go for a massage on a weekly or a monthly basis, also because it's so cost prohibitive versus Asia. It's very accessible. People go there and socialize and they get their foot massaged for hours. Um, sure. Or just to relax after, you know, before a meeting, they go and get the head massage. And, and so it's very common. So that's a big part of what I do because I used to talk about this a lot. And then a friend of mine said, mm, maybe you should try body work. And I'm like, really? And it's really helped me to get out of my head. And I understand the body now so much more because I get in tune with what the body wants. And it's, it's kind of, it's like a piano. I end up sitting down at the piano and it just, play the music uh, and yeah. it's evolving and it's beautiful. And I feel very nourished by it. The, you know, and then so single people come to me um, often and, you know, this is what's going on for me. Can you tell me something as anything is wrong with me? And, and, um, and I just connect to their bodies and help them connect to themselves and yeah. we go from there. Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about your love coaching. I want to go through and the three the programs. Love Yes, and a lot and a lot of coaching is uh I mean typically couples that uh come to me, I mean they are they understand somewhat that I'm more focused on sexuality, but you know, sex breaks down often uh, because intimacy breaks down and then just trying to find their way back to each other and mm -hmm. and see each other differently. And and also what we talked about that that we don't have a manual and how to then create new habits with each other and conscious. It's just bring more consciousness. Now consciousness is thrown around quite a bit, but it means what you said with, with your wife, that you consciously sit down, said, not just let it happen. How, what are we going to do professionally? How are we going to, how are we going to plan your life? And we actually have uh, with my partner and I, uh, he's, he's an Excel sheet guy. So we have an Excel sheet for temple nights. So he's like, you know, so he's like, we put in what we kind of want to do on that one night, you know, or whatever we get. Oh, and I thought I'm going to do this and I'm going to wear that. And what do you think? And should we have flowers? Should we have candles? What kind of music? And then like, kind of like put it together. So just giving them ideas that, oh, you know, there are ways to do this. You don't have to be like, oh, I don't know how to do that. No, none of us do, you know, but, you know, let, let get creative and, and use, other, you know, use other people's ideas. Yeah, there's a there's actually a book that uh, um, they have a couple's version called Adventure Challenge, and it gives okay. you ways to to to, uh, uh, um, to plan dates with yeah. your significant yeah. other. Yes. And and they're, yes. they're they're very they're they're very it's things that you normally wouldn't do. Uh, I mean, one of them was we did uh, was go to a bookstore, pick out a cooking book, and then ask a complete stranger to pick an entree for you to cook. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, and, and then you go with that. Then you have to go to the store and buy. But you have to do it. But yeah, you have to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. So and they also have a, a, a love, a couple, a love couples thing uh, too in there. Yes. Uh, and so, and and what? So, what is the difference between love coaching and and the couple coaching? Well, the love coaching uh, would be um, more relationship. Um, I, I mean, uh -huh. actually, uh, yeah. It's and then it, you know, honestly, it's kind of flows into one into another sure uh and then and then the love coaching can be also just for single people as well and the couple is particularly for couples because okay. because single people can say like look i'm ready ready for love how can i be prepared for that kind of thing uh but okay. so the body work is, is is just body work and then and then sometimes you know it flows into okay well let's talk about some of the issues that are holding you back from you know, finding a partner or being in a relationship again. Uh, and then the couple coaching is when couples kind of, you know, need assistance or support or a third person to say yeah. who's right and who is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need accountability? 
Are you looking to change the course of your life but have failed to keep on track? Too often we take in information and fail to act. Do you need an accountability program to stay the course? Then go to www.thestandard.academy and find out about my accountability program that goes with my course that helps you find out what you want, why you want it, and how to get it. The accountability program keeps you on track to get results. So you have on, on one of on one of your two websites that are going to be in the, in the show notes. Uh, yeah. Uh, soul sexy life uh, think ific uh, dot com um, you have some videos that, that that you have available to the public and I want to talk about one of them in particular the yoni massage what's that all about right okay so yoni is a Sanskrit word uh, for uh, for vulva and um, so it, those of you who haven't been around tantra tantra is a part of yoga. And uh, just like in yoga, they use Sanskrit words, you know, to confuse Westerners, but they all, they all have more of a, the reason why they use it, because they all have a lot more of a meaning than just a literal meaning. Uh, and yoni means sacred portal. And so, and because in ancient times, they actually treated the body as a sacred, uh, uh, not object, but it's as a sacred. So, so sexuality was also sacred. So connecting to each other was also sacred. Um, and and the the penis is called lingam, which is a wand of light. So imagine, you know, sacred portal, a wand of light. I mean, for us uh, Westerners, it all sounds extremely woo woo. Um, so I went down on that path and wanted to find out what is that about? Because I'm, I'm first and foremost, I'm, I'm more of a geek. And it's like, okay, I hear something like that. It's like, what is that? Why is that so weird? And what I what and 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 also I found out what are the reasons why we are we have in especially in the West aversion to this is foreign, it's strange, it's weird, and then becomes, you know, hip and popular. Uh, and so, um, but it's the sacredness of it. And, and then I learned that through Tantra, which is, uh, people think it's about sex, but it's only about sex that in, it includes our sexuality. So there are actual teachings and research done on how the sexual organs work. And, you know, and there is a major school, the Taoist, Taoist school and then the Tibetan Tantra, uh, Tantra schools. And they talk about um, how to touch <laughs> Uh, a woman and how to touch a man it's actually taught it's with old practices i mean they were uh there were, there were you know the, the myth is that there was the emperor with the concubines and of course there's all these hundreds of women that he has to service and so these girls would these girls these ladies would have uh specialized mistresses and also monks who came from you know uh, and brought this knowledge to the court of for the for the emperor how not to ejaculate and how to be able to service all these girls and also for the girls how to keep their their vulva and vagina going so so um and and also it doesn't it didn't have to be just a penetration it could be just a massage or basically it's fingering uh mm -hmm. as well and you know and then and, and just how to keep the juices going while they were waiting for the emperor because at the time sex was really and i mean as a pleasure was only available to those who weren't working all day kind of thing so right. so these practices were kind of handed down and they can be mythical practices and they made their way to the west and there's a bunch of people who are teaching them out there and then i just found that okay as a 50 year old woman you know i'm hungarian and and, and lived all over the world i'm not you know, it's very hard for me to connect to those esoteric practices, but but then I need to understand. So I went down on that path. And so now I just feel like I integrated it, I digested it, and I want to bring it to other people who never heard about these things before and awesome. and and you know and 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 give them the version that is easier for them to integrate into their everyday life, even if they never heard a your word Yoni before. It's totally fine. But just so I created these videos because over time, I realized there was, you know, it's either porn, and a lot of men learn from porn, and they they think that, oh, this is how to touch a woman, and it's like, rah, 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 she's ready to go, you know, and kind of thing, and I'm like, wow, you can actually spend an entire hour 
just touching a woman's uh, vulva and also a man. So I do have uh, a penis massage and uh, and and a pussy massage video out there uh, yeah. that goes into details of teaching people how to touch each other better. <laughs> yeah. Or this you know, yeah, p porn has, has been, uh, I, I think it's not because of the, the sex that's in it, but I think it, it creates so many false uh, uh, illusions about what sex is like, especially for younger yeah. kids. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, yeah. it's just, it, it's totally, uh, and, and also it's, it's a significant factor. I, I was talking to a man, I don't know how he got, I was at a party and, I, and people start telling me stuff that I don't know why, uh, but he was telling me <laughs> this guy was, this guy was, he was, he was buff. He was a, a, a lifeguard, airplane pilot, a, a lifeguard at, at Malibu Beach in California, you know, air, a commercial airplane pilot, this and that. And uh, he was telling me that that he could not uh, ejaculate. And the first question I asked him, I said, I said, well, how much porn are you watching? I didn't even ask. I didn't even ask. Are you watching? I said, how much porn are you? He, he goes a lot. I said, I said, I said, and, you, and, and do you masturbate to the porn? Yeah. I said, I said, that's your problem. That, right. that, that's what, that, that's why you can't have a normal intimate relationship with, a, with a woman uh, because of, yep. because of your, your, your porn addiction. So uh, you, you burn, you burn, you're burning, you're burning out your nervous system. So porn induced erectile dysfunction is actually a thing yeah. now. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and so, uh, and what, but what happens is that the bur the nervous system gets burned out because you stimulate it in a certain way that it, it learns like how, how we learn how to ride a bike. You, it just learns how to function. So the good yeah. news is that you can rewire your nervous system. You know, we have yeah. neuroplasticity yeah. and we can, we can rewire, but it takes yeah. discipline. Yeah, I, I'm, we, we were talking earlier about you don't know where things are going to take you. I never expected that, that evening going to a friend's birthday party that I would be talking to a, a, talking to a man about his inability to ejaculate during normal well, sex. It, it, <laughs> it, it, I, I it couldn't goes, have predicted it, that one. <laughs> It goes there. Well, it's pretty pretty predictable with me. It's a pretty much can turn any conversation. Well, you're, you're, in that, that. You're, you're, you're in that field. Because I'm in that field. Yes, yeah. yes. And I'm in the I'm in the coaching field. So, uh, yeah. So that's a lovely. Uh, tell us a little bit about your 28 day soul sexy woman app. Well, that hasn't happened yet. It's kind of okay. in the, You know, it in hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it's in the works. Okay. Yes, but thank you for bringing it up. But yes, um, I. I find that, yeah, it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's a, it's an interesting world, but this is a big field out there now. Uh, and I encourage people to keep searching because the, the more you, uh, the more you go down the rabbit hole, the more door opens up. There's a lot of people out there now who are bringing this message because I think it's an extremely important message. I wish, you know, this was on, on like 7-Eleven in every corner because that's how, how desperately we need it. I believe that if people were, to actually uh, create a lifestyle that includes uh, healthy sexuality, the world would be a much better place. Yeah. So you also, I think any yeah. any any help that you can get, I would strongly recommend people that they do it because we are living right. longer. You know, yeah, oh, we're living longer, absolutely. and and thirty more years is 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 quite boring if if you know if you're not doing anything about your life. And yeah. living it the best um, way you can. And you also, and you can go to your website, which again, I'm going to mention is in the program notes. You offer a free consultation, initial consultation? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. So, so that's, mm -hmm. that's very generous generous of you to offer to spend time. With well, you know, I, yeah, well, it, you know, at times you, we have to see if it's the right fit and, and, and also just to, to, yeah. And then, and yeah, I'm pretty generous that way because I understand that when people make that first phone call, it's very scary. It's a place where they wouldn't want to go otherwise. And it's probably they've been thinking about it for a long time. So I want to direct them also to the right direction as well. I'm not always the right one to help, but uh, I also want to direct them. I think, I think it's important as elders, you know, in the community uh, that, you know, when people become vulnerable and they actually do reach out for help, that we gauge where they are at and send them, set them in the right direction. I think it's just a, a, an important thing to do as humans to each other and not just, you know, always like, well, can I make money with this? Yeah. Um, okay. 
All right. <laughs> well, well, Julia, I want to thank you for coming on the oldguytalkstome.com podcast. Uh, it's been an interesting <laughs> conversation. It's always, uh, uh, it's, it's always fun and uh, to talk about sex, especially somebody who is in the field and uh, helps people in that area. Because, uh, my God, a lot of people do need that. I actually have uh, some in just... mind. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to refer them to you. And uh, mm-hmm. you, they, uh, they, may, you, they may benefit. They probably would benefit from, uh, from, from, your, from your coaching. So all of that. So, again, I want to thank you. Is there anything that we didn't cover that, that you would like to say to our audience in closing? Thank you. Um, it's not that, that we didn't cover. I just really want to encourage everyone out there to connect to their body and whatever situation you are in right now, know that it can change and just open your mind and say yes to, yes to, uh, to your, to your desires and to your body. And, and, and really know that if you think you know your body, you don't. So just yeah. keep exploring. <laughs> okay. Keep exploring. All right. All right. All right. Well, Julia, thank you. And, uh, Folks, uh, please comment. Uh, usually, on, when you when you have these uh, shows on sex, usually the, the comments really don't happen very often because people don't want to talk uh, really? about it. They don't want they don't no, want their name out there in public. That's what I but, mean. Uh, yeah, of course. So, so uh, we've had a great discussion today, and I want to make sure that you, the listeners, reach out and uh, go to www.thestandard.academy forward slash magazine and get my free digital magazine with lots of life hacks, including one secret place to touch a woman. Um, and it's not her clitoris because that's not a secret place. Uh, so you, you can be there. There are other places and, uh, and get that. And uh, well, and put some, there's, like I said, there's lots of life hacks and several articles in that magazine uh, that you will find that will help you create the life that you imagine for yourself and those that you love. Also, I want you to rate, review, and share, and subscribe to this podcast. Until next time, go out and create a kick-ass life for yourselves and those that you love. Thank you for joining Dr. Orrest and his incredible guest. Like what you heard and learned? Then be sure to do three things. One, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Two, share this with someone who may need to hear it. Three, leave a review and rate this podcast. Opt in at www.thestandard.academy forward slash magazine and get our free digital magazine with savings, articles, and deeper dives into cool controversy. Be the guy who takes action. Without action, you're not going to get the results you want. Thank you again and make it a great day.